Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Back behind me on the table, we have an LG OLED 77C9PUB. We are gonna be taking the back off of this unit as well as getting the boards out of it. If you have any questions or need to order any parts, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. We have the back of the unit laid out here. Uh, first thing that we need to do is get the few screws that are in this unit out. Um, there is gonna be one here at the uh, AC in. Uh, there's one on the bottom right here, another one on the bottom right here, and then two where the stand um, piece slides into the back of the TV. So let's get those out first and we'll move on to getting the back off of this. So after we get those screws out, uh, we are gonna wanna get this uh, little plastic door uh, off of the back of the unit. You will be having your, uh, uh, the power cord running all the way out of this. Obviously this is a little nipped off here, but let's get this off. I'm just taking a fine tip screwdriver, popping it up with enough pressure to where you hear that pop and as a clip comes away, all we really need to do is get it off on one side There we go. Now, if you move this out of the way just a little bit, you can actually get your fingers in there, grab the power plug itself and just start walking it out of that plug. It is one of these styles where you push the two buttons down on the side. They're pretty easy to get out of there. We'll set that off to the side and we'll start working on getting this up and away from the back of the TV. So there aren't any more screws or anything holding it in, but there is a series of clips running up along the side, all the way along the top here and down this side. So we're gonna try and get the back off first and then slowly but surely start getting those popped away. So that's the ones on the side and down along the bottom. Now we just need to get these ones along the top popped out. You can hear them popping away. And I'm not trying not to put too much pressure on it. Keep my fingers underneath that lip. Just pop it up as I go. Just a little bit of steady pressure and a little bit of elbow grease and the whole back lifts up and away. Now we have access to the boards. First up is going to be the main board. Uh, there are screws that are fixing this into the back, uh, but first we want to focus on these clips. Uh, a lot of them are going to be pretty standard. We've seen a lot of these before. Now this one you're gonna to wanna to depress with your thumb or thumbnail, which then releases the clip. And you can just slowly walk that away from the board, no problem at all. This one's gonna pinch down on the right and left side. Same thing. Grab that clip, slowly start walking it out and away. So we have one side here that popped out and the other side's actually still affixed. We're just gonna plug the whole thing back in and we're gonna try one more time. There we go. This one is gonna be the same style. We wanna pinch down on the right and left side, grab the clip itself, slowly start walking that out, comes out no problem. These two ribbon cables, I usually use my fingernail to pop those flaps up. And these ribbon cables just slide right out of there. There we go. Now we just have some screws around the outside and this should come away from the chassis. So after we get those screws out, this piece should just lift out all together. You can take this plastic piece off the side if you need to replace boards and that's the main board. Now we're moving on to the T-Con board. Uh, we're gonna wanna get these clips uh, away from the board first. These are gonna be the style where we use our thumb or thumbnail to push down on the clip, which releases that, and it comes right out. Same exact thing with these two along the top. And then these are gonna be the style where we pinch on the right and left side, which depresses the small buttons on there, which releases that ribbon cable and allows it to come right out. These two on the back, uh, just use your thumbnail or fingernail to pop up the two flaps for the ribbon cables, make sure they are all the way up and then they come right out of there. Not a problem at all. Let's get the screws out and this should come away. After you have all the screws removed from the board, it just lifts up and out from these posts right here that are 
uh, just kind of raised up off the back and that's the T-Con board. Now we're gonna be tackling the power supply board. Pretty easy stuff here. Uh, these four clips, uh, we're gonna get out of the board first. So these we're gonna pinch down on the right and left side, which then releases the two clips. We should just be able to pull that right up and away from the power supply board. This is gonna be the one with the flap that we're gonna depress with our thumb. Same thing, comes right up and out. We're gonna to want to get the um, plug that is going, obviously the one that's going over. We're gonna get that out first. A Little bit tight quarters here, but you should be able to manage. Uh, there is a small flap that we're gonna push down with our thumb that releases the clip, and then that comes away. The one right next to it, exact same style. Push down with your thumb, which releases the clip, and then it comes right out of the board. Let's go ahead and get these ribbon cables out of the way, or excuse me, just this cabling out of the way, and then we'll get the board itself out of the unit. Now, once those screws are out, we should just be able to lift this up and out. And that is our power supply board. That's gonna do it for this board removal tutorial. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you do subscribe, you'll qualify for 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.